gasket in. This is the part number I ordered, transom seal from Sierra. Uh, the OMC 909527 is now the 18-2768. It's the exact same thing. I'm just starting to put it on right now. Uh, a lot more flexible than what the uh, the one I took off was, and there's less of a hole in it. So here's comparison: the old transom seal. Uh, mine has seen better days. This is the new one. I just put the uh, retainer ring on where the screws go through. Um, I had no silicone or anything around the outside. So I'm gonna go with just the mechanical seal here with the rubber, because that's all there was. I am gonna put a little bit around the edge, not a ton like some of the YouTube videos that I've seen. Uh, the rubber is gonna make the gasket seal. I'm just gonna make sure that nothing gets in through the, uh, the screw holes. I put my uh, band clamp back on first and I'll just put on this ring. It goes on easy. So this is a Stinger outboard drive on an OMC 120. We literally just got the leg off. I didn't think to video, but this is the hole where the, uh, the shifter cable goes through. There is a retainer. This is a half inch bolt. Everything else seems to be three eighths. The cables themselves on the out drive, there's a long one and a short one. And I'll show you on the interior of the boat the long one goes around and into this side short one goes straight over to here and it's in the back right here the retainer clip on the back i'll post a picture of it that just undoes the cable that gives you enough release to undo the two bike style brake cable cables Um, just make sure that you put your locking clips back in. And when I put the cables on, I have it all the way forward in on the control. So it's easier to get the cables on a little bit of tension. You put it around the idler pulley first. I do the shorter one first idler pulley for the long one to have the, the pizza wedge out. And then I can add some tension and then slide it over the, uh, the pin that it goes into. So this is bolted through. There's a pin on the other side that slides into the uh, the female opening. So that's it. I'm just gonna put the cover back on. The cable itself, it, uh, it it's actually clocked back here. So there's a flat side, uh, literally almost at, I'd call it about the three or four o'clock as you come around, it's around to the back side. So that way it puts this cable at the top, the long one, and the shorter cable at the bottom. And then you do the same thing here. Uh, and there's two grooves on the top of the pizza wedge here. So yeah, it's easier going on than it was coming off. Okay, so lesson learned. Uh, the trim should be adjusted into about the middle. The rubber still pulls quite a bit, but um, I have the screws just started. And then now all the holes line up, so uh, that was a smart thing to do. So I'm just going to tighten these up and this will be done. Also, I just used a small amount of, oh, it's upside down, but that's the, uh, the right stuff gasket maker. It's silicone RTV. So, um, the rubber will make the contact, but the silicone just makes sure it doesn't leak. Uh, see if you can see in there. There's just a small amount and I put it in every screw hole. are hand tight. This one here was a little bit, uh, loosen the hole. I'll just verify those after, but right now we're ready to put the leg back on.